Snowpiercer premiered on TNT in May of last year, but the series has already released two smash hit seasons, with a third one on the way. Considering how unexpected season 2 was, many fans are left wondering, what could possibly happen in season 3? Theories have been running wild online, so let's take a closer look at some of the details of season 2 you may have missed, and what they mean for season 3 of Snowpiercer. Before we jump into it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. This is the woman who pretended to be me for seven years. Snowpiercer was released in 2020, but it takes place in the not too distant future in 2026. According to the story, the world became a frozen wasteland sometime in 2019, leaving only a few surviving members of humanity who are forced to find shelter in the strangest of places, one of which being a luxury train. It was originally constructed by a billionaire who apparently had thought this through very well, creating a beautiful train that has over 1,000 carriages and could make a full circle around the globe almost three times per year. This plan was very well thought out as the motion from the train provides energy for the occupants and will help keep them from freezing to death as a result. It's a win-win when you think about it. However, things quickly began to take a turn for the worst, as they often do in post-apocalyptic scenarios. It didn't take long for the train cars to become separated by class, leading to a great divide between the final remaining humans on Earth. This means that much like life as we know it today, there became a revolutionary struggle among the occupants that caused there to be a very serious pecking order, if you will. This meant food and supplies often had to pass through the upper class before even a few scraps would make it to the lower class. This is the leading premise of the show, the people from the top pushing others down low and how lower class members must fight to survive. Snowpiercer Season 3 is set to continue the story pretty soon, telling the story of Leiden as he does his best to get control of the train cars back from Mr. Wilford. Things took a major turn as Season 2 came to a close when the character suffered a huge death that will change the course of Snowpiercer history forever. I'm sure all of us are ready to find out what will happen in Season 3 and it doesn't seem like we will have to wait too terribly long, as TNT has already renewed the series for a third season. TNT finally announced in January of 2021 that the series is officially coming back for another season. This news was a shock to most fans as the announcement was made a few weeks before Season 2 ever premiered. This was very reassuring to most fans of the series, especially considering how messy Season 2 became for some of our favorite characters. The only bit of bad news that we have to break is that there has not been an official release date given for Season 3 just yet. In all honesty, it's super unlikely the studio has even begun filming the new season, so we can likely expect Season 3 to premiere around the same time as Season 2 did in 2021, likely around January or early February. What we do know is that the studio is working hard to make Season 3 happen, and there have been rumors that the new season is in pre-production meaning scripts are being finalized and sets are being rebuilt and everyone is gearing up to begin filming once again. I'm sure filming will go much more smoothly this time around as the worldwide pandemic is slowly screeching to a halt. This will lift a lot of major restrictions for the crew who likely struggle to film season 2. This means they will be able to film shots much more quickly than ever before, helping to expedite this process so we can get this new season on our screens as quickly as possible. At the moment, we know that the show is being filmed in Canada and TNT expects filming to be wrapping up sometime around July. That'll give the studio about six months to edit the new season before it premieres, likely sometime in early 2022. Several of the cast members are confirmed to be returning for season two, but keep in mind, all of this could change at a moment's notice. Just because these stars have agreed to return does not mean they have signed contracts yet. However, for the moment, we can expect the return of David Diggs and Sean Bean, Rowan Blancard, Alison Wright, Lena Hall, Mickey Sumner, Sam Otto, Annalise Basso, and Stephen Ogg. In a surprising update, we also found out that Chelsea Harris has been promoted to a series regular. This is major news, and I can't wait to see more of the stunning character Chelsea helped to create. I can't even imagine how excited she must be to not only be coming back for season 3, but also be taking on a major role in the new season. Aside from this, we also learned that Archie Punjabi, will be joining the cast as well, bringing an all-new character into the lineup. 
So, if you're against hearing things about the plot before the season is officially released, brace yourself, because a major plot spoiler is incoming. Even though I'm sure most of us hoped that the tragic death at the end of Season 2 was simply a cliffhanger and that everything would be okay, things will change a lot in Season 3. We learn from TV Line that Jennifer Conley will be returning to reprise her role in Season 3. However, sadly, Melanie Cavill will not be coming back after she was killed off in the final episode. Her character will be put to rest for good. I'm sure that isn't necessarily the news that some of you guys wanted to hear, but as it stands, Melanie's role with the series is officially over. Though maybe she can come back for some flashback scenes or something. Maybe. So as we mentioned a moment ago, TNT hasn't announced when the new season will premiere. However, some fans seem to think it's possible the series may come back sometime in late 2021. It seems like TNT may have planned to release both Season 1 and Season 2 in 2020, and that the show could be gearing up for double release each year. However, with the pandemic, Season 2 was delayed and pushed back to 2021. If this is true, it's possible we may be able to see Season 3 premiere sometime late this fall. And if so, Season 4 could pop up sometime next spring. I certainly hope this is true, but TNT hasn't made any official announcements just yet. I wouldn't be too hopeful to see the new season anytime this year, but it's not entirely out of the question. Stranger things have definitely happened. You're going back for Melanie. <laughs> Miss you, Johnson. So what does that leave us with? Well, if you tuned in earlier this year for season 2, you'll know that it ended with the cliffhanger of the decade. Andre Leiden was doing his best to help guide the rebels to steal away the first 10 cars on the Snowpiercer. This would have essentially turned the train into one giant pirate ship. He and his crew left and made their way to the Rocky Mountains to try to rescue Melanie. But they soon learned this would not be possible. As fate would have it, Melanie had wandered off into the great unknown and had been victimized by the terrible relentless weather. She lost her life in the cold landscape while all alone. However, all hope was not lost. Thankfully, she left behind most of her data and research. As the team searched through all the progress she had made, they soon learned that some areas of the Earth were beginning to warm up. Before long, it's possible some of these areas could be habitable by humans once again. However, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Even if the team is able to colonize some of these areas, it'll likely take quite a long time before things will return to any resemblance of normal. We'll have to wait for Season 3 to find out exactly what this means. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.